This is the Algebra 1 practice test for TN Ready. Question number one on this version of the test. Uh, just as a note, if you're watching this entire playlist in 2019-20, um, a lot of the videos will be videos from other integrated math practice tests because I'd already shot those. Our school system uses that, and I didn't want to reshoot something that I'd already done because this is something that I'm doing in my basically free time, so I didn't want to spend a million hours on it. But anyway, sorry that I didn't have the numbers exactly matched up, but at least the questions are there. Anyway, question number one. Avery is solving the following equation. Negative two times the absolute value of m minus two equals negative six. Which equation, which equation is equivalent to Avery's equation? So there are a few things that I can look at here. One of the things I can look at is just in general, what are the relationships between the terms? This negative two being connected directly to the absolute value here means that it is multiplying. So I really just need to solve this one initially anyway, treating the m minus two as its own variable. So if I define the absolute value of n minus two as x, if I had this, I would know immediately, oh, I need, I have multiply to eliminate, multiply, I need to divide, so I do that there, and I do that there, and I get x is equal to 3, because negative 6 divided by negative 2 gives me 3, right? Same thing here. If I want to eliminate times negative 2, I can just divide by negative 2, and I get the absolute value of m minus 2 is equal to 3. And incidentally, that is one of our choices. So right here is one of my choices. Now, let's take a look at some of the other answers to see sort of what they did. For B, the only thing that they did uh, differently than you would do for D is they ended up with negative 3, which means they probably thought some people are under the misconception that when you have to divide, you divide by the opposite sign. Like, you see this a lot. You would subtract 4 here. And... See, this is a different sign than this, but the reason that you need to have a different quote-unquote sign is because the opposite operation of addition is subtraction, which requires you to have the different symbols involved. Well, multiplication doesn't work like that. The opposite of multiplication is division, not negative division. So when we had this, I needed to divide both sides by negative 2 to eliminate it. Otherwise, if I divided it by 2, I'd still have negative 1x. I mean, it wouldn't eliminate it completely, because what I'm trying to do when I eliminate with division is see how these are the same. Negative 2 divided by negative 2 is 1, so then end up with 1x is equal to 3. So here, what they'd done is probably forgot that, and they thought, oh, well, I'll just divide by positive 2 and end up with negative 3, and they get it wrong. Or they were just being careless, and you'll notice, because they, they're the worst, they put this answer choice, which is incorrect, but uses the same structure first. Be careful. They love to get you on signs and pretend like you don't know what you're doing when really you're just nervous about a test and you make a careless mistake. It's kind of a not a great move for them to make, not a good look, but whatever. The other is, the other two that they've done, what they've gone ahead and done is, for some reason, they acted as if you could distribute as if these were parentheses and not absolute value. You can't distribute that way. That's not how that works. Um, because m minus 2 is not grouped just as m minus 2. It's the absolute value of m minus 2, so you'd have to solve for that and some other things. So long story short, you can't distribute into an absolute value at that point in a traditional equation. So that's out. So your answer to number 1 is D. Again, be super careful because they're trying to catch you doing something quick and making a careless mistake because it looks like the right answer and they're trying to get you to dive on B or they're trying to get you to not think logically about the fact that it's an absolute value, treat it like a parenthesis and then distribute what you're not allowed to do. So be careful, they're just trying to get you on a problem that's super easy to get correct but also pretty easy to get incorrect.